Well, good afternoon, everybody. We're up here at the shop today, working. It's a good thing. I really like what I do, so that's a that's a big plus. Enjoying what you do, control your own destiny, and uh, it just makes life a whole lot better. That's the American dream. We're getting a little bit out today. We've got a few that came in, so actually a lot. <laughs> the other side of the park, a lot's pretty full. And I've got this one right here today. We're gonna be, it's hard to see, but uh, gotta put this thing back together. Got ran hot, poor vehicles. Nobody likes to be overheated. A um, few little things to cover right quick. Um, thank goodness, in, a, in an ironic situation, several Democrats are, are not supporting the infrastructure bill. And so uh, that's putting a big cramp on Nancy Toilet Bowl Pelosi. She's going to have to not, she's not calling it to the floor right now because she knows there's not the votes to support it. Uh, there is bigger stuff going on they're trying to do. So it's not 100% good news, but it's a delay. And it's a good thing on our part because it helps to prevent some of the stuff that she's trying to federalize so far as our people picking process. And, um... It's sad to say, but there's over a hundred Americans right now that are stranded and denied entry, and 83 of them are, are are vetted green card holders, and the other ones are actually Americans that really were living here already. And so they were taken out on a private charter jet, and they were all given, uh, uh, they were they were all given. Uh, let's see here, they were approved to get. They were vetted. They were approved. Everything checked out. They are living in some pretty rough conditions. They can't get water. There's not. There's nowhere to buy any supplies at the hangar that they're that they're stranded right now. Uh, nobody's really bringing anything in. And um, so those are Americans right now. That you know, and just not long ago, you know, or well, currently right now, we've got people coming in here illegally, like just boom one after another. You know, probably four or five hundred a day, and they're being provided everything under the sun. Uh, which in most of the time will backfire on the left. It's probably going to backfire on. They're going to invest all that. It's going to backfire. But uh, that's where we're at right now. The, uh, the oh, the hangers, the hangar that they're stranded at, is United Arab Emirates. That's the name of the uh, hangar. If you want to look into that, you'll see what's going on there. You can do a little more research. And another really cool thing is. A lot of this stuff is being covered uh, a, a little more in depth. You know, I'm working on getting some more, you know, getting a little bit more in depth with it. But so far as what's happening uh, with the with the uh, infrastructure bill is a good thing. And uh, a really cool and very informative YouTube site that you could check out is uh, Sweet Home Maricopa. That dude, Mike, he's been really adamant and he's been excellent at uh, bringing a lot of news. And you got uh, BCP, Black Conservative Patriot. He's great, man. A lot of really good news. And if you like, if you like, uh, if you like to laugh, you need to check out the Salty Cracker. He's somebody that uh, he puts out the really good content. It helps to let us know that we're all winning. We are all winning. We are the majority. Do not let these people tell you otherwise. There are a lot more of us. I'm, I'm out here in the public around people all day long. And I'm not scared to talk and, and you know, speak my mind. And these people are backing me up 100%. I've got a lot of really good support from my customers. Um, I consider this business a sanctuary business where people can come in, not have to wear the mask. There, there, will, be, there will never be that. I will not do that. Um, and I want people to express their views with me. If, they, if I talk to them about this stuff, I want them to come back at me with what they got to say. Luckily, I can bring them receipts. So anyhow... Uh, there's a big helicopter going over. There's a lot of those going over right now because I'm not too far from Fort Bragg. Fort Bragg is only about a half an hour or 45 minutes kind of southwest from here. So you'll get a lot of that traffic. Anyhow, thank you very much for tuning in. A lot more to come. Have a good day.